So you want to start eating healthy, but you don't know where to start. Well, maybe you do know where to start, but that start doesn't have food that tastes good. Or maybe you just want to get better at cooking healthier food. So that's why today I'm going to show you how to make a stuffed spaghetti squash. Today, this stuffing is going to be marinara sauce, sausage, and some other veggies. So the reason why I like this recipe a lot, and in addition to it being really healthy and really filling and satisfying and tasty, is that it's somewhat quick to do, it's really customizable, and it's really easy to remember. And it's, it's, uh, it's sort of foolproof in a way as well. So hopefully this is the first and the last time you're watching this video because once you do it, you're gonna know exactly what to do the next time you do it. And you won't be like, oh no, like I have to go to the store and get these ingredients because you can really use whatever's in your fridge. If you don't have sausage, you can use ground meat. If you don't have ground meat, use any kind of meat you want. Just chop it up into cubes. And then if you're vegan, skip out on the meat, maybe use beans. But you can really make this yours and that's really what cooking is about. And also, when you have a recipe like this that you can always go to, it's just, it's just gonna make eating healthy in the long run much more sustainable. And also, hopefully you'll enjoy making this recipe too. So I'm excited to show you guys what I did for this recipe. So here's the ingredients I chose to stuff my squash with. <laughs> So we got some cheese, manchego, pecorino, romano. We got some onions, some garlic, the chopped up cooked sausage. And then we got celery, carrots, and mushrooms. And of course, you're gonna need your favorite store-bought tomato sauce. I like this one in Rouse. You're gonna need about one and a half cups or about a half jar. So right now I'm gonna show you how to have the spaghetti squash. So first off, you're going to want to remove the stem on the top. It's pretty much like a block of wood. So you just want to work your way around it just so you don't end up, uh, you know, chopping your finger off or anything like that. And then you're going to put it down on that base that you just chopped off and start right in the middle. And then you can work your way around, but it's actually not too bad to cut through since the inside is pretty hollow. And then you're gonna take a spoon and hold it like a scoop and really scrape out all the insides. Not only the seeds, but you're also gonna wanna scrape out all that hair stuff. And then generally it's a good idea to save the seeds. I'm not a big fan of throwing stuff away and it's really good to minimize food waste. So I like to save the seeds and uh, roast them in the oven with some olive oil, salt, pepper, some other seasonings. So right now we are going to pre-cook the squash halves without the stuffing. Uh, I like to steam mine, it's just a lot easier and quicker. I'm wrapping it in two layers of plastic wrap and then I'm poking holes in the top to let steam escape. If you don't have plastic wrap, you don't have a microwave, you can roast this. Um, I would drizzle it with some olive oil, salt, and pepper and throw it in the oven at maybe 375 for a half hour. I'll check on it. Um, you just want it to be soft. So I threw it in the microwave for eight minutes. Uh, be careful, it's really hot. So you're gonna wanna let that cool and do the same thing for the other half. So at this point, we're gonna preheat the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And then we're gonna put a pan on medium heat. So with the pan preheating for probably about five minutes, we're gonna drizzle in some olive oil. Um, you can use any oil you want, or you can use no oil at all. Uh, you might not get the best results, but you can definitely do that if you have a nonstick pan. So we're gonna be adding the onions, uh, garlic, any other veggies you have, just add them all right now. And then also if you do have raw meat, I would add them at this stage also. And of course, in every stage, you will want to salt and pepper because we wanna build layers of flavor and make sure the dish is seasoned throughout. So we're gonna let that cook down for a while. And at this stage, hopefully the squash isn't too hot for you to handle if it is. You know, just wear a glove or hold it with a towel. Um, but just take a fork and start scraping away at it and it kind of like turns into spaghetti automatically. It's kind of like magic to be honest. 
and make sure you don't forget about your veggies and meat cooking over on the stove. So you're going to take the filling and you're going to want to season it with salt and pepper. So at this point your vegetables and meat should be cooked down. Um, I would look for some browning and if there are brown bits in the pan you're going to want to scrape those off and maybe throw in a splash of wine or any liquid to get those bits off the bottom. Now add your tomato sauce and cook it until some of the liquid has evaporated and it's thickened up a bit. And then once that's ready to go, add it to your squash mixture and mix thoroughly. And now we're on the home stretch. So you're going to take your squash halves and place them into a baking dish and then evenly divide the mixture between each half. And now you're going to top each half with whatever you want. I like to add some of this cheese. You can add any cheese you want, or you can completely omit the cheese if you'd like. And now we wait. We're going to put this in our preheated oven for about 20 minutes. Um, it's really just until the cheese is melted on top. The whole thing's pretty hot already. And you could do everything up until this point and have it ready to go for another night. I would just heat it up in the oven for a little longer than 20 minutes. And there you have it. That's how you make stuffed spaghetti squash. Please like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos in the future. Thank you.